Hello, it's me, Norm, again from MyBeerQuest.com. And I uh, probably noticed a change of scenery. Uh, the bar is gone. It's, uh, <laughs> it's in the process of being rebuilt. Uh, this is the first video I've done since I've re I moved, uh, relocated completely. So um, it's kind of exciting for me. Uh, but before I go any farther, I want to say congratulations to everybody that has uh, gotten, uh, became partners with uh, YouTube recently. It seems like a, <laughs> I was moving, a, you know, Al Harlock and Chad uh, both got uh, became partners, so congratulations. Um, yeah, I've been watching Al Harlock, and, you know, he's one of the very first uh, beer reviewers I've seen on YouTube. Um, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and uh, I know he's been doing it longer than I have, so... Uh, great, and I'm sure uh, there be others to come. You know, hopefully uh, I'm so fat soon. If you haven't, if you haven't, don't know who any of these people are, you know, check them out. Uh, Chad nine nine seven six is youtube.com slash Chad nine nine seven six. The uh, L Harlock youtube.com slash L Harlock and uh, youtube.com slash I'm so fat. <laughs> And speaking of uh, El Harlock, uh, this next beer comes from his country. Um, not necessarily the region uh, where he's from, I don't believe. Um, it's called uh, Ter Ibel. Uh, it's from Unibrau, uh, made in Quebec, Canada. And actually, uh, a friend of mine from Canada, he's not from Quebec, but he's from Toronto, actually. He gave this to me for my birthday last month, uh, my friend Paul. And every time, this is actually, I think, one of the first times I've done a, uh, I've, I've mentioned an unibra with it, uh, him being around. <laughs> uh, and usually uh, these are enjoyed in, uh, you know, the Belgium style beer glasses. And this is a dark, um, a dark ale. No less, it says. Dark ale, no less. So I really enjoyed um, unibra brews and dark ales. It's also 5.6. Uh, 10.5. Uh, so, you know, I guess if you had a really terrible day, it would be brighten it up. <laughs> a dark ale to brighten up a terrible day. Um, eh? <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I, I've had a really rough past week, you know, trying to move everything. So uh, I hope this is good. Really uh, make up for that. Really haven't had much beer in the past week. Just been too busy, and then by the time the end of the day comes, I'm just exhausted. Nice fancy beer here. Huh? The cork, like all of Unibrows. Really looks more like a, a beer for the winter time rather than a summer evening, but uh, you know, out here it's uh, <laughs> you don't get many winter evenings. So uh, yeah, this is a really nice looking beer. I can tell I'm gonna enjoy this already. So oh. wow, that's a really malty smell to it. I got a lot of foam with that last one, but um, <clears throat> really nice looking beer. I, I kind of expected more of a um, alcohol taste to it, but it doesn't really have that much alcohol taste. So, very nice beer, though. Very. This is a really, uh, really nice beer. Has a, like you know definitely has a Belgium style to it. It's dark and just really relaxing. Well, give it a try if you uh, if you like the dark Belgiums. <clears throat> so, uh, cheers! Enjoy your beer. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again. <clears throat>